Welcome to the show, friends. So my guest Renee says she swore off men 10 years ago after being cheated on repeatedly, but her family convinced her to join a dating site where she met her fiance, Picard. She said he was everything she wanted in a man until he got a second chance at fame in the music industry. Now Renee says he ignores her phone calls, blocked her on social media, and disappears for days at a time. She wants my help to unlock his phone and to determine if wedding bells are in their future or if it's time to say goodbye. Help me welcome Renee to the show. Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So please tell me, how did you meet Picard? Well, it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I was totally done with men, and the reason why is because of past relationships that yes. didn't go good. But my family members convinced me to get on this website. Uh -huh. And when I got the message from Picard, it caught my eye. Mm -hmm. And everything seemed good in the beginning, but now, you know, ever since he's been back into this music thing, he's hiding a lot. Got and it. I need some answers. I need to know the reason why he's doing what he's doing. Understandable. So you broke up a year after you met him. What happened at that point? Well, we had a little incident that yeah. we had, you know, went through. Mm -hmm. And we took a little break. What happened there? The communication wasn't working out. So we took a step back, but we still remained friends. Mm -hmm. And was that your decision? It was both of our of decisions. Okay. And yeah. what made you get back together with him after that year? Because he promised me that if I took him back, that things would be a lot better. I would never have to worry about him cheating on me, talking to anybody, or having ins any insecurities. Mm -hmm. During that year when y'all broke up, or when you were about to break up for the, in that first year, did, did you see some of your insecurities coming back? Like, no. Nothing? So it was just communication? Yes. So why would he make a promise of saying that I won't cheat on you and those things? because I was accusing him during that time of cheating on me because of the way we was having miscommunication. Got it, understandable. So how has your relationship been since you got back together? In the beginning, everything yeah. was fine. He would always answer me and reassure me that it wasn't what I thought. But recently, he hasn't had any answers from me. Mm -hmm. He's becoming very manipulative. He tries to make me think that I'm crazy. He tells me that he loves me, but I need him to prove it to Got me. Got it. <laughs> and how long have you been engaged? We've been engaged for about six years now. Mm. And do you have a wedding date? No. No wedding date. What's going on there? Why don't you have a wedding date? We don't have a wedding date because every time I talk about it, he doesn't seem interested in it. In what way? You know, the New Year's is coming. Maybe we should make a date when we're going to get married. And he'll say, oh, we're going to have a big wedding. But he never comes up with the date. So when did you start to see the signs that possibly he could be cheating? Ever since last year. Mm -hmm. When the doors opened back up for him with his music. Yeah. I've noticed that he's been being very, very secretive. He doesn't answer my questions when I ask him. He spends a lot of time at the studio. I understand that being at, a, at the studio takes hours, but it doesn't take all night. And then when I question him on the reason why he's not answering my calls, after the time he claims that he's at the studio, he'll tell me that he's tired or he has still had his phone on vibrate. Mm, and it. I won't hear from him until the next day. Mm -hmm. Have you confronted him about your suspicions? Yes. And what does he say to but you? But he just tells me that he's not cheating on me, that he loves me. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I need that with action. Have you ever caught him in the act? No. Never I, I've never on? caught him cheating on me. So I can't say that. But my intuitions and his actions are showing that me that he's doing something. Got it. Has he ever accused you of cheating? Yeah. OK. And what, have you ever cheated on him? No. Yeah. No, no, no. So why do you think he accuses you of cheating? because he's trying to manipulate me. He's trying to trick me, take the eyes off him. Can I go back up just a little bit? 10 years ago, before you got into this relationship, you said you took 10 year break. In the relationship you were in before 10 years before, was it emotionally and mentally abusive? It was bad. Bad. It was bad. And I didn't want to deal with men anymore. How, I said I wasn't going to do it anymore. How huh? long were you and the guy together before? It was a pretty long relationship. 
I would say, 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. And it was 12 years of lying, cheating, abuse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so when you got out of that relationship, was it, what was the catalyst for you to say, let me get out of this relationship? It was just too much for me. Yeah. Too okay. much extra work to go through and, and things wasn't working out. Mm -hmm. I was ready to move on. Okay. You asked me to unlock Picard's phone. What do you think I'm going to find? Hopefully you can get these answers for me. But I wonder what do you think is in there? The people that he's talking to mm -hmm. when he claims that he's at the studio, the social media pages that he's hiding from me. Okay. So you think there's pages that he's hiding from me that you haven't seen? Yes. Okay. Well, listen, Renee has shared her fears about Picard. So let's see what he has to say. Please, everyone, help me welcome Picard to the show. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about telling these people that, you know, that I'm the one that's causing the issue when it's you. You're the one that's always on me. You don't give me no, f listen, listen, listen. I got a situation, Karamo, right? I'm getting a second 15 minutes. I was part of this group. It was a juvenile awareness group. Yes. We had put out a video, 1991, we get nominated for a Grammy. You know what I mean? Yeah. All this gets done, right? What was the name of the group? Uh -huh. Lifers Group. It was I remember the... that. Yeah, you remember the I Lifers remember Group? That. Yes, 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 I remember that, yes, yes, I was in there, man. I've kind of been re-going back into the studio, kind of catch up with my own artistic talent to get in. Yeah. All she seemed to do is call me. Call me. Especially find time. Listen, I, two, three hours before going to the studio, I don't hear from Renee. As soon as I get in the studio, half an hour in, yeah, you could do that. Half an hour in, she calling me. So why you don't try to call me before you go I'm to the studio? I'm not calling you, because right now what you're doing is interfering with my artistic process. If I get on the phone with her and we start doing the back and forth, there is no more recording, no music What are we doing the back and forth for, though? What is there. the back and forth behind? What do you mean? Behind what? You being insecure now. How? How? You are being insecure. If you tell me that you're going to the studio and you're doing four hours, why does that lead to the next day? What do you I mean? I don't hear from you. To the next day. You gotta understand my, my side too. What's your side? What's your you side? gotta understand my side, side too. When you tell me that you're going to the studio and you're taking four hours, it, it rolls over to the next day. I don't hear from you. I just told you you're that, still not answering you keep the question. bugging me. You keep bugging me. And plus, if I get out 3, 4 in the morning, why am I calling you for? Oh yeah, I know you're gonna be up waiting on that call, but I'm gonna call you in the morning. But you don't call me in the morning. Well, maybe I forgot, man. You can't look at everything. Have you ever called me? You see me? what I'm listen, talking about? That's exactly listen, what I'm listen, talking listen. about. Listen, I asked her a point blank earlier. Stop if it. she has any proof of you cheating or anything. Thank you. But I get that. She still, she says she has a woman's intuition. My thing for you, though, is if she's saying to you, all I need is a call after the studio to alleviate these conversations, why don't you just give her that? And this is something that you promised me that you would do. Remember? I'm just yeah. asking well, this point blank. To be honest, we go back and forth so much that it's getting to a point where punishment. I don't feel, no, it ain't punishment. I don't feel like I should be given explanations. We're too old for but that. But how you trying to get married to me and you can't explain something to me that I'm asking you You should already explain. know 10 years in. What are you talking about? No. You should already no, know that's, 10 that's, years no, in. No, no. Picard, can I ask you point blank? Go ahead. Have you cheated on her? No. OK. Listen, bro, I'm raising two kids. I'm not, that's not even my lifestyle. My, my daughters only know me for being with her and their mother. That's not the guy I am. It was a situation where I first met her. She had this thing she would do where she would just stop by. No calling, no nothing. I mean, one time she stopped by at 3 in the morning and talked about she was in the area. So? Every time she so what? So what? So? Listen. You lucky I was knocking on your door. Hey, I get it. I get it. Lucky at least man. I was knocking on here's your another, door. Here's another thing. Every time what she stopped... you would have caught me knocking at somebody else's door at 3 in the morning? Uh, but, when is it going to stop? But you do the same thing. Yeah, once in a while, only... You, I, exactly. Can I explain it? Exactly. You do the same thing. Oh, it's, it's different my, when my, I do it. That's well, the same thing. Why is it different than when you do it? It gets to the point, right, where I'll start feeling like, yeah, maybe she might start messing around with me. Because she think I'm messing around so much, I oh, think wow. she might start doing something. Mm -hmm. So I, I start getting insecure from one. that perspective. Okay. She know what true. I'm talking about. So can I ask you something? Because my producer told me that y'all two aren't friends on social media. No. No. Oh, that's that's another friends, thing. No, we're not. y'all friends on social media? I'm about to tell you. Every little argument, disagreement that me and this 
young, beautiful lady has, uh -huh. she sends out the bat signal, which is she unfriends me. Have you ever done this to me, yes or no? Yeah, I've done it when you've done it to me a couple no, times. No, 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 no. Don't back. blame me. Talk right, about you. She done it so much. Have you unfriended me, yes or no? Yes, I have one or twice, but you did it okay. so much. Listen, she done it so much. You've, you've done they it. They stopped her from sending me friend requests. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. They, stopped, they stopped her Whatever. from sending me friend requests. No, let That's me tell you. That's how much she unfriends me. Let me tell you. Picard, you proposed. Why won't you set a wedding day? Why would we go ahead and set a date and take that step to be in a marriage doing this? I want to, I would rather, I, this is what I told her. I'd rather take that step when we at peace with one another. Got it. But we when, can't be at peace. If, can, you, if you living like the way you live It's give and take, though. If it's you're give living, take, no. Well, it's speak, the way you you're listen, living. You speak, I listen. No, but, this but, but that's not balance. the way you do yes. it, though. Okay, hold on. What, 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 you don't what do is it that peace, way. What does peace look like for you? Him answering my questions when I ask him, son. I'm asking you, when you go to the studio, why don't I hear from you until the next day? And it's every single time. I'm busy. I'm in there you being can't, creative. So you can't text me and be like, babe, I'm Sometimes busy. Sometimes I do. You, you can't, can't say do I that. Don't. Sometimes I do. Okay. But I don't do it all the Picard, time. I want to know you. What, what does peace look like for you? Peace look like for me is her just getting off my back. Stop putting pressure on me for things you have no proof on. And you have to do the same thing. I get it. That's still, you always do the tip for tat. You have to do, no, yeah, that's there another is thing. No, Stop tip there's, for there's no such thing Every as time, tip for tat. If I bring up something that this Well, you is, just said you tip for tat, too. You get treated the Once way you the blue, treat people. Reaction. But you still tip for tat. Reacting. Reacting. It's still no, tip for tat. No, I'm not. We asked you to unlock your phone. I said no. Before I didn't get to it. He, Picard, refuses to unlock the phone. Yes. And this is a first for me to say this. Mm -hmm. I'm actually very unhappy you didn't unlock your phone. Because I do not believe that unlocking your phone is going to ever solve the symptoms of this relationship. So when I unlock people's phones, it's because I'm trying to get proof and do things. Right now, you're telling me out of your own mouth that you don't have any time you've ever got anything. You're saying the thing that is triggering your insecurities is him not picking up a call. That is a boundary issue. And I think that's what we need to be focusing on. There needs to be boundaries put in place. Listen, you just as petty as she is, and you know it. The it's reason I said this is that you do the same, engage in the same behavior because you got to stop pointing the finger to her and saying, "Well, she do this," because you do the same thing. And that's why y'all in this sort of pattern of, "Well, you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that." Y'all both engage in this negative behavior that is not serving this relationship at all. So what's happening right now is both of y'all have boundaries. You said you've never cheated. You said you've never cheated. You said you've never had anybody come up to you. You said you never had come up, somebody come up to you. So right now, it's like, y'all just need to communicate better and say what I need. Tell this man the boundary of what you need and be clear about it. And the thing is, is that I understand that your past relationship is playing into your insecurities right now. I don't think you have a self-worth issue. I think it's, it's about being triggered about your past, the fear of it happening again to you. So I'm going to do this exercise really quickly. Can you tell me two boundaries you need from him? Communication. In what way? Because if he's saying he's an artist and he's in spaces where he's trying to perform, what is it that you clearly need? Is it just, hey, when you leave the studio, just check it and say, I'm it's okay. It's nothing wrong with him picking up his phone and hitting me with a text. A that. quick text. He don't have to do it all the time. Can I get a clearer boundary from you? You know I'm what really he does? Trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. I promise you, because I actually do believe that this is a relationship that should be salvaged and could actually be healthy. I actually do believe that. I do I believe that. Too. And I say that to say, you haven't told me anything to give me the conclusion that he could be cheating, and he hasn't given me anything to make me think that you're cheating. So what I'm saying is that this could be salvaged. The reason salvaged why I think that he's doing something is because he constantly accuses me. I get it. That's, that's going back why. to the first thing I said, tit for tat. Both of y'all doing it. So that's why I'm trying to give y'all a, a clear boundary to move forward with. I'm asking you, Picard, what's the boundary you need? What's the boundary you need? Picard, what's the boundary you need? The boundaries I need? What is the boundary? I to listen need? more. What does listen more mean? When we have our talks, more, I mean, what you mean? When we have our talks, to listen more, to inter internalize what I'm saying and listen to me like when I'm listening to you and take what I'm saying into consideration. So you're going to start doing that now? What you mean? Because you weren't doing to it. To me, I believe I've always been doing it, but I'm going to be a little bit more proactive with it. I need for him to do the same things that he expects for me to do for But what him. are those things? Listen more. But listen more in what text? Like, I'm, this is what I'm trying to, y'all got to get When I'm clearer. talking to him, don't cut me off. Listen Boom. to me. Boom, hold on. Now we got a boundary. You see? Did you see what just happened? <laughs> now that's a boundary! I get it. That's a boundary. So now, first boundary. 
She just said, when I'm talking, don't cut me off, which we all witness here, you do do a lot. This is somebody I got feelings for. But so you, I'm a, we going, I'm going to go she back. She just told gotta you got to stop. That. So now, when he sets, well, now that you set that boundary, when you're speaking and he cuts you off, you don't react. You sit back and you say, my boundary. Versus right now, y'all ain't got no proof. Ain't nobody doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. Y'all arguing about stuff. This man love you and you love him. Y'all yeah. just got to set some clear boundaries. Yeah. That's at the end of the day. And you do. He set the first boundary. Don't cut her off no more. Listen, that's just a win for me. So I'm going to take my wins where I can get them. <laughs> We're going to stop right there, everybody. We're going to stop right there. I'm going to wish y'all the best yes. of luck. Thank and you. if y'all need more resources and tools on boundaries, I got y'all, all yes. right? But I really do believe that there is true love here. I really do believe it. Thank you very much, I do man. believe that, yeah. I, I heard everything you said, man. I'm definitely going to take it into consideration. I believe that. I and probably some of the best advice I've heard in a while. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you, you so much. Really yeah, appreciate. you're welcome. Hold on. Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe. And right here to watch more. Period.